Hi everyone, it's Corey. We're touring the historic Lincoln Highway, more specifically the Western Pennsylvania side. And I'm in Man's Choice, Pennsylvania today, and I'm at an amazing place. It's called the Lincoln Motor Court. It's actually the very last motor court like it along the Lincoln Highway, and it dates to the 1940s. Let's take a look. This is such an amazing place. Imagine staying here during the 1940s while traveling many, many hundreds of miles in your automobile. You know, many years ago, there were many motor courts like this all around, not just Pennsylvania, but the United States. Unfortunately, one by one, they won out of business because of the big chain hotels. But, uh, that's not the case here at the Lincoln Motor Court in Man's Choice, Pennsylvania. They're still going strong and they welcome tourists from all around the country. There's 12 cabins on this property, all the same size, all with the red and white chair out front for guests, visitors, and honeymooners to sit outside and enjoy the crisp air. Here's the backyard of the Lincoln Motor Court. You've got a grill here to do some cooking. You got a picnic table and you've got cornhole, cornhole game. Nobody's playing it at the minute with the Lincoln Motor Court logo on it. These signs say it all. The old Lincoln Motor Court classic tourist cabins open for overnight guests circa 1940. Here you can even put your face through bodies of tourists from the 1940s and reenact the golden age of traveling. I got a little surprise for everyone. Not only are we going to see the Lincoln Motor Court, I got the key, I'm gonna spend the night. All right, let's do a room tour of the Lincoln Motor Court. This is cabin number 12. Okay, here's the view from the other side of the door. We're inside the uh, cabin number 12. Look at the beautiful knotty pine wood. Here we've got a color TV, and we've also got a fan and a trash can and a little coffee station here. We also got some champagne glasses here and a corkscrew and a journal for uh, visitors to write in their experiences and travels. Further through the cottage, we've got a microwave and a micro fridge. We've got a heater. We've got a... Uh, a 1945 calendar from Grubb's Garage. Got a little table here with an old fashioned style radio. And what's interesting is you can actually tune in the radio and hear old radio broadcasts. Let's check that out. Quit screeching, it's me. It's happened again. Put your light on, Ford. Turn it off. Right here in our block, it was horrible. Turn that light off. I was frightened. I felt safe with it. I like the dark. Turn it off. All right, all right. Didn't you hear me? Don't you know your wife's been here all this time, almost dying? Only 10 cents and your name and address to post. P O S T. Box 7767, Chicago 77, Illinois. Now write that down while you remember it. That's post. Box 7767, Chicago 77, Illinois. That's all there is to it. Just one post serials box top, one dime, your name and address. And you're a member of the Roy Rogers Writers Club. Have fun. Join up today. Continuing the tour, we have a little mirror here on the wall. And we have a closet. Check out this closet. We've got uh, some old 1940s puzzles. We have a hat. We have a suitcase or a trunk up there at the top, sh at the top shelf. 
and uh, some sort of dress here on the left. And here's the small yet pretty awesome bathroom. Check it out. There's a shower to the left as well. All right, so coming out of the bathroom on the other side of the wall is, I'm gonna call it the bedroom. And there's a double bed here. You got some uh, 1940s artwork there on the left and another calendar there on the, on the right. Here's the bed, double bed. Got a blanket. And that's it, literally. That's the whole room. Very small, very cozy, very awesome. Here's a nighttime view of the Lincoln Motor Court located here in Man's Choice, Pennsylvania.